final nail in the coffin. Inside the Capitol Tuesday. Senate Bill 292. An unsurprising move. Here we go, folks. Governor Tony Evers vetoing six GOP election bills that would have imposed new rules, restrictions, and paperwork to vote absentee and require a photo ID for Wisconsinites who declare themselves indefinitely confined. They're trying to stack the deck so that they get the results they want this time. Immediately following a flurry of criticism from Republicans, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss calling it a momentous mistake. The veto's coming in the midst of a growing political fight over the 2020 election and just days after a Republican lawmaker issued subpoenas to seize ballots and voting machines in Milwaukee and Brown counties. Listen, there are serious concerns and I think we need to address them and that is the point. Should Milwaukee and Brown counties comply with this subpoena? Hell no. And I'm sure they're not thinking of packing up all their, all their election machines and saying, where do you live, Michelle? We'll, we'll take it to your house. That subpoena is ordering election officials to arrive here at the Capitol for a hearing in September. Milwaukee County election officials have yet to say if they'll comply. In Madison, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. Republicans don't have enough votes to override the governor's vetoes. They say their bills would have closed loopholes and strengthened the state's voter ID laws.